Hi, it's me again with laser tips and tricks. I haven't done a laser tip and trick in a while. But lately in Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, I've been doing how to put numbers into a four by four box. And if you take your smart fill tool and fill that in, move it out of the way. Whoop. Smart fill tool is pretty smart, but if you've got it selected, it's going to fill up everything. So I got a four by four box. Unless you have to get every square little minute of an inch out of your sheet of wood or your sheet of acrylic or these, you know, plastics. My suggestion is don't put it up to the top corner. Don't put your grid to the top corner. I would suspect right now that 50% of the lasers are not aligned to that corner. And right now, mine being one of them. I just get lazy and uh, don't do the testing. So, especially in an epilogue, it's not going to cut that line. It's not going to cut that line because it thinks it's on the page. But if it thinks this is the top of the page and really it's a quarter inch down, then that first one is going to be, whoops, I did it twice, is going to be not a four by four square. In fact, it is going to be a 3.75 by four inch square. So the way to eliminate that would be to move this a quarter of an inch down and a quarter inch over, and then run it like that. That would be my suggestion. Now, with that said, let's say you've got a piece of acrylic that is 36 by 20, and you have to get every square inch out of it. You have to make it fit. Well, then you could align your you know, move your laser head around. Mine has a toggle switch. Put on your red dot pointer. Let's just draw a little ellipse and turn it red. And let's move it right there on the edge of your acry acrylic. Now, one thing you can do to test that, and this would be a pretty good idea, would be to select all of it hold down your shift key and double select on your rectangle tool. What that did is made a rectangle. No, it didn't. I guess because these are not, let me do this. Let me, uh, let me ungroup all this. See if it's not grouped. Or let me group this. Hold down the shift key and double click on your rectangle tool. Now you have a rectangle around that box. So what I would do I would set my nudge factor to like to 40 inches and I would select my grid and I would nudge it out of the way. And then I would set my point right there. And then I'd run a test with the door open <clears throat> and actually, especially like on acrylic or even on wood, I get, I get a little pieces of wood and butt them up against my wood so I can see it with the red dot goes by. Because if it's right on the edge, you really can't see it go by. And do it slow, like this one's not even on the edge, look at that rectangle. So I hope this is making sense. Just to, uh, but that way, if this square is aligned with your laser now, then you can nudge it out of the way and nudge this right back. And now you know that every square is gonna be four by four. Anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense. Thank you for watching.